welcome everyone. Gary Mazaroff, Gustavo Farrell, and Johnny Viatoro. We're here in Guatemala City. Good Friday to everybody. Good Friday, Gustavo, to you. And Thank we you, Gary. Wish, and we want to wish all of our people who uh, celebrate Pesach, Passover. That's coming in three weeks. Anyway, good Friday to everybody around the world. We're here on the world stage and Guatemala City. Today, Gustavo, we start the Parte Dos del Torneo, Part Two, which is the team play. Gary, good morning, good Friday to everyone. Yes, that is correct. It'll be a quick and fulfilled two days, if you will. Lots of racquetball starting today at 10 a.m. again, Mountain Daylight time and going until we finish, I think we're doing maybe six matches today? Uh, could be more, because we have the quarterfinals and then winners feed into the semis. Tomorrow we will only, we will only have finals. So we could be here till, uh, let's say, 8 p.m. local time, uh, which is Rocky Mountain daylight time in the States. And I uh, want to welcome everybody again, World Stage. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate all your comments and compliments over the previous six days. And uh, we're going to, Gustavo and I, we're going to, per the theme of the day after uh, the classic movie in 1939, Jean Renoir, Rules of the Game, we're going to review a lot of the rules and subtleties and interpretations that have happened this week and go over historically some of the changes that have occurred over the past five decades. We're watching here Maria Paz Munoz practice her handball throwing skills. In the court and soon to be playing Ramon de Leon, Team Dominican Republic against Gabriel Garcia and Costa speaking, Rica. That's excellent that you picked that up because racquetball came from handball. One of the terms is hand out, it came from handball. And to determine the serve, the official rule of the, of the sorteo is a coin toss now. And years ago, they take the ball and they toss it and they would, they, they call it a lag. So they'd lag for serve. They still do that in squash. And they still do that at a lot of the uh, home courts in the U.S. Yeah. We still. Yet the official rule is you must toss a coin. So always have a moneda available when you're officiating, folks. A coin. And once again, whoever wins the toss before the first set has his or her choice. In this case, De Leon from Dominicana has elected to serve. Garcia will serve game two and four if it goes that way. Okay. We will also explain to you how the team competition works and how a team can come out victorious and not necessarily all the players have to play in order for the team to advance. One more thing before we start. Lilo Aguilar is our VAR assistant here. We will have the appeal system available. Good start for Ramon. We've known Ramon for better part of 20 years, you and I. Yes, we have. Started as a junior. I met him back in Los Angeles. One of the junior events there. Early 2000s. Does that sound about right? He started playing uh, after 2003 when they built courts in Santo Domingo. And yeah, uh, Los Angeles 2010 and 2012. There we go. There we Junior go. Worlds. He is one of our professional referees when not representing his country as he is at this tournament. Good get. Comment on. There's an appeal there. Whoopa. Almost dropped the VAR, the video assist review tablet. There's a two bounce get that's being appealed. We're gonna ask our uh, drug czar, Dean Shear, to let us know what the call was. Try 
going to uh, have a th three bullet system here, folks. We're sequestered, Gustav and I, so we're asking the information to come to us. Number one, what was the call? Two, what was the appeal? Three, what was the result? <laughs> we're still waiting for that clarification. De Leon serving 2-1. Thank you so much, Dean. The call was two bounces. The appeal was legal return. The result is it was overturned and they're replaying it. Excelente, senor. No appeal used. Correct. That would be a floor splat. Nice shot. You gotta see ya. As I so eloquently said to my past compadre, Gustavo, good call. <laughs> I'm referring to Dan Koshell out of Colorado Springs. Congratulations. Uh, you, I may be repeating what you said, maybe not. Congratulations, Garcia, gold medalist, first part of this tournament in the individual play doubles champ with Kakunya. I, I truly believe he made the difference for the Costa Rican team, not taking anything away from Acuna, his partner, who we know is an excellent player, but Garcia elevated his play to allow the Costa Rican team to take the gold from Team Canada. I'm with you. That was a great match. We're back at 4-4 here. All tied up. Going to 11, rally scoring. Day seven of eight days of competition. Players may be showing a little bit of wear. Is that uh, W-E-A-R or W-E-R? <laughs> Donde? <laughs> Punch drunk yesterday turns into levity. Levity today, folks. Thank the LOC, Dr. Estuardo Ware. That's W-E-R. He's the president of Guatemala Racquetball. He's now the new president of the Pan American Racquetball Confederation as well. Not only is it our seventh day of competition, it's our seventh day of streaming. First time that we begin streaming on day one. Thank Good you. Good job, Pablo and team. Pan Am Sports Channel. Our assistants, Gatica, Jose, and here's Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. But the players have to be feeling it. Their, their uh, legs might be a little bit heavy this morning. They'll pick up once the adrenaline starts flowing, the team adrenaline starts flowing. So Gustavo, an, great anec matches. an anecdote here. Garcia, they guess they didn't need it yesterday, but he has no formal coach. And Ramon has two iconic coaches for under the Dominican flag. Ricardo Monwa, originally from Bolivia, and Rosa Gomez. Well said, Gary. All live. S score 9 6 now. Got to see out. Going to 11. Rally scoring. This is our first. Match, first game. We'll have no less than six feeds today, Gustavo. If we do the math over eight days, we'll probably exceed 50, 5, 0, 50. Is that where it comes out to? I quit counting after day one. Yes, ace.
standard deviation, plus or minus eight. Game one, Garcia. Impressive. Taking uh, a look at that replay. Final point of the game. Right down the line. There it is. Vamos a un breve comercial. Estamos de vuelta con ustedes en dos minutos. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just Back live, Gary Gustavo and Johnny. We're here at Cork Central in Guatemala City, about to start game two. Gabriel Garcia won first game, 11-6. Next break, Gustavo and I are gonna discuss some of the iconic rules that have been, that have evolved and have been pulled from the rule book over the years. Well said, that was the word I was gonna use. You took it right out of my mouth. Evolved, changed over time a lot of these players are not privy to those rules and where they came from good point speaking of good point that was a good point for Ramon very effective lightened up on the return and there's no way you got to see I could have gotten that even with his long reach so you, you were saying how well he played and he was a difference in doubles yesterday, I agree with you. And, and he eliminated his set of unforced errors. To me, that was a difference. And he's continued that theme through the first part of this match. It's very difficult to pass him, so you may want to jam him. On your drive Z's, you need to pin him deeper than that. There it is, wide angle. Reverse winner, right, uh, left corner, Gustavo. De Leon is on it, 4-1. Maria Paz Munoz, our Arbitra Principal from Ecuador. One of our 10 pro officials here, Gustavo. Big early lead here for Team Dominican, 5-1. Staying with the same Z serve. That time it came off the back. Quick hands. Ball is down. Thank you everybody for tuning in. You're on the Pan Am Sports Channel and the International Racquetball Federation Networks as well. Good hands, Garcia. Almost got to it, De Leon. Casi llega. Tres sirviendo cinco. So he's taking a page out of the book of Ramon and hitting that drive Z left. Piso. You were saying an early lead for Ramon. It's converging at this point, 4-5. First to 11 win by two. Rally scoring, one timeout available. Two used 
appeals through the VAR system. Gustavo will, when we have a break, describe that system for those newer to the broadcast this week. A decision by Ramon, so he's taking a timeout because Gabriel has tied it up. 5-5. Five, five. Let's look at that last erroneous shot by <laughs> Ramon. May I quote you on that one? You may. He should have gone back while not quite sure what he was trying to do, but he's very athletic, almost got it back to the front wall. Vamos a un breve comercial, 30 segundos. live Gary Gustavo and Johnny about to continue live play De Leon lost the first set 6-11 he was up 5-1 and now after the erroneous shot by Ramon we have a tie ball game Gustavo you like that word I do I haven't seen that shot yet in this tournament or return of shot that Ramon just did. 5-5. Cinco, cinco. Segundo set aquí en la ciudad de Guatemala. Panamericanos, gran servicio. Murió aquí enfrente de nosotros en la esquina. Pegando la pared atrás primero, el vidrio de atrás. So, dos palabras en inglés, erroneous, wrong, W-R-O-N-G, and or incorrect. Great get. So, uh, if I may, Garcia started to execute after he was down 1-5. Now he has Ramon on that proverbial yo-yo string, moving him left, right, front, and back. 7-6. Ventaja Costa Rica. Cuidando la falta de pie ahí. Que no la vio nuestro árbitro. El pie delantero no puede cruzar por completo. La, la raya de servicio. La que está más cerca de la pared del frente. To review the format today, quarterfinals, those countries that qualify by virtue of taking the best of three, that's number one singles, number two singles, and number one doubles. If the two singles are played back to back, and Gabriel and Acuna win, they will not play the doubles because they've already qualified for the next round, which will come later this afternoon, semifinal. How is the decision made on whether the women or the men play the singles? How does that work, Gary? Well, each team can change their roster from the first part. Case in point, ladies, Team Canada, uh, Danielle Ramsey, she was playing doubles, now she's not. So we have the uh, two young ladies, the sisters playing, and she's only playing singles. There's no mixed doubles in this format, but it, it's a team decision. So the women play as a team, the men play as a team, yeah, and I, then the total point outcome determines the overall winner. That's correct, it's a point system. Nice get. So, for example, if it, let's say Dominican and uh, Costa Rica here, 
and they split, and then they go to the doubles, and Costa Rica wins 2-1. That's a good loss for point-wise. They're, they're not going to advance. Dominican won't advance, but they get points. So overall, their standing will likely be better than many of the other countries that did not advance. Understood. 8-9. Amping it up there. Yeah, his, his power is really affecting Ramon right now. His being Gabriel Garcia, 28 years old, from the capital of Costa Rica, San Jose. Pointing, pointed out to us by Andres Acuña that Moscoso himself, Garcia, Kobe, Iwasa, all from the same era of juniors. And that is game number two going to Garcia. Obviously doesn't want to go any longer than he needs it to go. We're watching the last replay here. And there it is, ball skipped in. We will be John, back. Now we're going to stay here, All Johnny right. Sequeda, senor. Nos quedamos aquí. So we're going to review some of the iconic rules of the game over the last five, six decades, maybe seven decades since we're starting in the 60s. So years ago, per a good friend of ours, there were no screens called in doubles. That is correct. In 78, 1978, under AARA rules, the screen and doubles call was eliminated. Another one. Now that came back within a year as a call. So that didn't work real well. Yet. But it was understandable why it was attempted because the play, and I think many of you have seen here and play the sport, there are screens all the time in doubles. Singles and doubles, more so in singles, obviously. But I've seen, I've experienced more screen calls in doubles here than I, I ever have in the past. That's the, again, the evolution of play, the pace, the athleticism of everybody here. Another rule, unfortunately, was that at one time there was no eyewear, protective eyewear required. And then they came out with the eyewear rule, and we had the old Protec goggles, which were state-of-the-art, but they didn't have any protective lenses. True. That came from handball. We'll continue. Here we go. Game three, a must for De Leon. A morir acá, De Leon tiene que ganar, si no. Smooth. El siguiente juego para Costa Rica creo que va a jugar Acuña, pero no, no creo que vaya a ser en esta cancha, va a ser en otra cancha. Como explicó Gary, si gana los sencillos, los dos sencillos Costa Rica, no es necesario jugar el dobles con el equipo de, de Dominicana. Oh, my. He pulled an Acuña there, Gustavo. That was the right shot. Yeah. Igual es uno. Near side pinch forehand. So Garcia's wide angle there did not nick that left that right side wall and the hands came off the back. Easy shot for De Leon. I'm impressed with your vocabulary today, my friend. Oh, my. Rally ending skip by Ramon. Point for Garcia coming in to serve. And that shot was an easier one than the previous one he had made. I think it's missed. It was missed because he thought it was so easy. Empate dos iguales. Does that nicely. That's the second time he's done that. Uncontested return of serve. Ace serve for folks newer to the game. 
3-2. That's called a jam. Side out and point for the receiving team or player in this case. De Leon, 3-3. Three, three. Thank you, sponsors of the IRF Gearbox Racquetball, Splathead.com, official garment provider, and Sports Corp out of Colorado Springs, servicing the sporting, sports industry, administration, sports organizations. And that's where the U.S. Racquetball Association office and IRF office, both of them are housed. Ventaja 4-3, Costa Rica. Left up, drive serve, that skip. Or screen call. It was not a skip, but it's being replayed. Must yeah, have been called a screen. Not sure why, that ball was going right into the corner here. That was a break for Garcia. Exactly. Took away an offensive shot from De Leon on that screen call. Yeah, regalo, gift. Big time foot fault there. Good hands. Different twist on that drive serve to Gustave came right. Ramon was all over it. However, rally ending shot by Garcia. He have, now have what, 6-3? Six, 6-3. Three? Six, three. Impressive, wide angle. Short hop, forehand, return by Garcia. And he did catch that wide angle. Garcia moved quickly back to take it and drive it right back down la lateral. Nice. Garcia, dark horse candidate for this tournament. So we're here on the world stage. Spe speaking of world stage, here's an anecdota, an anecdote. Just had a call from my buddy who played for Team Tonga, Joel Twileva, who lives in Utah. And we hope to bring him to World Seniors this year in Chicago as well as San Antonio for the World Championships. That's fantastic. Up top. Another skip, Ramon. Unforced errors. 10-3, punto para el partido. Garcia. <laughs> Adivinó mal ahí. Garcia se fue a la derecha de la cancha. Y de Gustavo, Leon. next up will be Lady Singles. Perrin, Canada. York, USA. I was speaking with Lexi this morning at breakfast. It's Lexi her, York from her uh, Spanish USA. is impeccable. Yeah. She was speaking with uh, Carlos Quadri today during breakfast as well. And uh, I may be going out on a limb here, but uh, I'm not convinced that Carlos speaks any English. He definitely prefers not to. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Great get. Good call. Se repite. Safety hold up. Just in case. First serve, by the way, folks. So Ramon fighting back, hitting those angles, jamming. Gabriel, we alluded to that earlier. Don't allow the lanky 
gentleman from Costa Rica to extend. And as you said, fighting back, uh, the score is. Yo creo que vamos seis diez. So he needs, he, Ramon needs four more points to tie it up, go to overtime. El marcador mu muestra cinco, pero creo que son, son seis. And that sloppy around the wall ball cost him. Garcia, Costa Rica, three sets to zero over De Leon. Wrap it up, Gustavo. Vamos a ver el replay, por favor. Y ahí, al lado derecha de la cancha. Tiro excelente por parte de García. Este juego se terminó en tres sets. Ahora vamos a ir al juego de mujeres. Juliette Parron enfrentando a Lexi York. Juliette Parron, Canadá. Lexi York, United States. Estaremos de vuelta con ustedes en 15 minutos. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun.